What a glorious day it is to crown our new monarch. First we have the procession down the Mall, and now that they've arrived at Westminster Abbey, the ceremony can begin. Firstly, our new monarch is presented with several ceremonial objects, items of great traditional importance. Oh, probably best not to mention that. No planted antiquities. Um, is that a plushie? What the fuck is that? Uh, anyway, on with the ceremony. Now it's the most important moment when the Archbishop anoints the monarch with holy oil. Usually a private moment, but we have exclusive access. Uh, what's the matter? I've forgotten the oil. Well, just use what you've got handy. No one will know. Oh, it feels like a waste to me. Now it's time for the monarch to make the three statutory oaths. Will you rule according to the laws agreed in Parliament? Actually, I thought I might switch things up a bit. I think I should be in complete charge. Oh, I, I don't think that's the right answer. It's all right, we'll come back to it later. Ahem. <clears throat> Will you uphold law, justice and mercy as judged by Parliament? Well, that's a bit like the first question, isn't it? Uh, I really think you're just supposed to agree. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, I agree. But you just said you didn't. Look, it's okay. It won't be long and none of this will really matter anyway. <laughs> Finally, the most important moment, the crowning itself. Rise, Rasputin the First. What a beautiful moment. Coronation celebrations come to a close as our monarch emerges on the balcony at Buckingham Palace to admire their ceremonial fly past. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 